all right so a lot of players been waiting for this type of video as they wanted me to try out balder on the demon king raid fight now again a lot of players they are looking for the best option if they do not have albedo who has been pretty much actually destroying the demon king raid fight making it super super easy being able to one turn counter smash the demon king fights and a lot of players have been asking me yo really could balder be a good replacement if I missed out on Albedo. So here am I here am I to showcase him on the Demon King raid fight. I've been doing a lot of testing and stuff like that. And I found out this would be the best team you want to try to run. Usually you have Green Hawk Oslo and you have Prayer with his holy relic. Um you also and then you also have Nanashi. And then I also got this uh artifact card set, the new one, which if I'm not mistaken, it gives you either I forgot if this is five percent base stats or ten percent base stats for your god characters and stuff like that. So I think Freya will be really good um, just because, again, this Holy Relic does give you base stats and increase your single target damage dealt, which is going to be really nice for Balder. And then you want to make sure you have Rid Sariel on Balder as well. And then this is going to be my gear set as I'm using crit damage on the top rolls. I think in one of my videos, I probably said crit chance because I was probably too tired. <laughs> but it's crit damage, all right? It's crit damage with Rid Sariel as your um thing. And I think you need this artifact card say if you want to actually perform really well. So uh, get to playing the PVE events and stuff like that. And again, the cock also is definitely a must too because he provides 50% of all defense to your character. So I said all defense. It's just playing defense, honestly. Which a lot of players, players will say that it's not as too great as defense related. But just for this PvP activity, it's it's all we need, right? So this is my team. And as you can see with my other side, I have the uh, the Sense team, which is the other team, especially if you're running Albedo. That's what most players run. And Balder is actually hitting really hard. I guess the only problem is that when it comes to the Demon King fight, the AOE decreases your defense stats. So you want to make sure you don't have or you want to hope that he doesn't hit you so many times with defense stats but it's usually okay um you can see right there we literally cut like half his hp and as more and more characters gets targeted balder will be able to um hit a lot harder because his crit damage keep getting boosted and then we're gonna attack right here now we're going for the buff card because increase our damage dealt and then we use our single target just to guarantee that we're going to kill on the next counter so this is where we're just gonna go for this so let's see how much damage you're gonna do 1.6 million 1.6 million and with that this is gonna be another 1.6 million this is where he's gonna delete your cards which you can't stop because you don't have an attack related boost character but you're usually gonna do a lot more damage to kind of bypass it and as you saw right there, we pretty much just nuked the Demon King fight instantly. And again, I, I tried many combinations trying to figure all this stuff, all stuff out. I think it's because I'm using two God characters being Freyr. Because I tried like, um, what's the other one? I tried Seasonal Merlin and Balder was not doing that much damage. So I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between Freyr. It might be because that artifact card set that I showed you guys. I think it gives you a little bit more base stats per God characters on the field. I kind of forget the translations <laughs> um but i'm pretty sure that's that's what is happening so this is where we kind of got a debate on what i should do right here um usually if i'm not mistaken people go for rank up right here on her go for this and then probably just use a stance card so we can get some base stats using valentine's dn and with this, we will have a guaranteed gold card with, um, what's her name? Kizuna. I mean, at least you will have like a single target and stuff like that, or a, not single target, silver card. Cause I'm trying to remember the, do, do people, um, keep keys in the card 
in silver as a silver or they actually use it i think they pretty much just use it just to rank up so they guarantee a gold card again the only issue with this is that you end up wasting your meliotis uh single target damage right here because usually you want to have like a gold single target for the next um after you do the commandment rule you want to have like a single target and then just blast through the boss all the way to his um death phase but you can't do that if you are um yeah I, this is not gonna work but you can't do that if you don't get the uh right draw unfortunately and i guess we can just go for this Again, we have so many chances to get a level three. So it technically does not matter. So actually I can literally do I can literally just go for a nothing play and just move cards. Yeah, I can literally just do nothing right here. Yeah, we weren't gonna able to get attack related stats even more. I probably could have also blast them. Just because we did get the attack related stat buff, but it's all right. He has an immortality anyways, so he was going to have to skip some turns anyways. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate because. OK, OK, that's even better. All right. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty much GG. I was a little bit worried because I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on a second. Am I even going to have the, uh, the right set of cards to do the rule? And then I'm going to try this one more time for you guys so you can see it again. Hopefully it would be better RNG for my sense team. Technically, it doesn't matter how long you take on this part. Because you're going to have to deal with the immortality stack until it's gone regardless. So this is going to be where DK Melios is going pretty much one shot. As you can see, I didn't get the, um, his, um, all, cre what's it called? All creations yet. But it's fine because we still going to, we still should be able to do a lot of damage right here. So we go for keys note right here and this should one shot like i said for you don't need it i literally could have one shot him regardless as long as you get that keys note attack buff you're really good and i'm gonna try it one more time this team again this is gonna be for players who do not um have albedo because for some reason you either skipped or you missed out on one of the more hype collabs to exist in the game. Being Overlord. <laughs> Again, like I've been testing out so many teams and I finally figured out this team would be actually really solid. Like I said before, it might be the artifact card set that allowed me to do so much damage with uh, Balder. Cause I did try seasonal Merlin and stuff like that. And it did not look like this. <laughs> it did not look like this, this much damage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I can recommend is that you, you gotta get to get to farming. Okay. That's cool. Literally just taking out half his HP right here. Um, And he's gonna do this like i said before you don't really need to do to use the balder single target but it's not going to be needed anyways so you might as well use it just so you can at least chip a little bit of hp and we got another stance card for our shenanigans later on which is really nice 1.6 we can probably keep doing 1.6 1.6 and this is where he's gonna try to delete my cards but he's gonna be dead before he can delete my cards so the only thing he's gonna be doing is disabling at that point all right so need level need three level twos that's actually insane um actually this could be really good for me um depending on what depending on what i do like I can just go for a keys in a card. 
and then um yeah i'll probably go for keys in a cart later on i'm gonna rank up right here i don't even think do i have gear on you or go through i probably don't low key and that is actually bad for me actually no this is actually good this is actually um that should be fun because i can just rank up my cars for kizuna i thought it would be bad because um my melio is going to have a gold card in his hand but it technically doesn't matter again it's multiple level twos so we should still should be really good like kizuna is just a solid uh character to run and then i'm gonna show you guys that pretty much you don't really need to care about Melios having the all creation as long as you have the keys and the buff you're already at a really good start so with this I'm gonna show you guys real quick uh, I'm gonna rank up my hand just in case and then I'm gonna use this card again as long as you have the keys and the attack related buff Melios with a single target usually one shots Or close to <laughs> 4.6 is pretty close, but you get what I'm saying, man. All right, you you you're gonna do good damage regardless. You're gonna do good damage regardless. 4.6 million is still really decent damage. Golly, DK Melius, you're making me look bad, man. <laughs> but you can always stall as well. Again, you can't really do much because of the immortality buff so either you can stall and then you get ready for the dk melius boost or you pretty much just do nothing and just spam his cards but right now i don't have the keys in the buff yet but he's already at a low threshold that we're gonna be able to finish him off regardless but if we somehow get the keys in the buff, that's actually really good too Unfortunately, we didn't get it because she has to rank up a card, but we have Melio's ult, so that's going to be pretty much GG regardless. I could also swap to Balder, and he probably would have just nuked the boss. At that threshold, just because he hit so hard. But yeah, guys, that is me showcasing Balder, who actually is going to be way faster than Albedo at that point. Cause Albedo, <laughs> or I guess you could say it's the same thing. It's just Balder is definitely a lot easier. Because I think with Albedo, you need like some high percentage of rolls. And sometimes she miss a crit. And that could ruin your run. While Balder doesn't miss his crit at all at all because it's sever. So I feel like honestly, Balder might be actually way better than Albedo if you're trying to farm Demon King Raid fight. Um, obviously, it might be a little bit of RNG when it comes to you using your second team, which is the Demi King Melee team. But Demi King Meliodas, it doesn't really messes up that often. Like he just DK Meliodas, he's really really powerful, so it doesn't really mess up that that hard. But again, I think this will be a solid team. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Just really guys, I'm out. Peace.